What are immature granulocytes, IG, in a CBC? Have you ever wondered what those numbers and terms in a complete blood count mean, especially when it comes to trauma management? One important component is immature granulocytes. So, what exactly are they? Immature granulocytes are a type of white blood cell that plays a key role in your immune system. They are the precursors to mature granulocytes, which include neutrophils, eosinophils, and basophils. These cells help fight infections and respond to inflammation. In a healthy individual, you typically won't find immature granulocytes in the bloodstream. However, their presence can indicate that your body is reacting to something serious. When someone experiences trauma, their body may respond by producing more immature granulocytes. This can happen due to infections, inflammation, or stress on the bone marrow. In emergency and critical care medicine, knowing the level of immature granulocytes can provide essential information about a patient's health status. If you see elevated levels of immature granulocytes in a complete blood count, it usually means there is an active immune response occurring. This could be due to an infection, such as bacterial infections or sepsis. It may also indicate more severe conditions like certain cancers or issues with the bone marrow. In trauma situations, first responders can use this information to make quick decisions. For instance, if immature granulocyte levels are high, it may signal the need for immediate treatment, such as antibiotics. This rapid assessment can be critical in guiding further diagnostic testing and treatment options. Understanding immature granulocytes can also help assess how well the bone marrow is functioning. Increased levels suggest that the bone marrow is working hard to produce more white blood cells in response to stress from trauma or infection. In summary, recognizing the presence of immature granulocytes in a complete blood count is vital for first responders. It aids in early detection of infections, assessing bone marrow activity, and guiding treatment decisions. This knowledge can make a significant difference in the care provided to patients in emergency situations.